um, I wrote an article for The Guardian about kind of the difference between the U.S. and the U.K. system. Um, they only have had food banks since 2004 in Britain, like, which was hugely shocking to me. Um, mm-hmm. But I got the chance to interview a bunch of, of people who went and, and actually used food banks in Britain. And what was really funny to me is they talk about their system the exact same way we talk about ours. I spoke with this woman and she said, look, they keep trying to push us off welfare and make cuts and cuts and cuts to the program so that we'll go out and find jobs, but then there aren't any jobs to find. And they don't you know, understand that. And it exactly. Just has, go yeah, ahead. and sorry. it doesn't <laughs> seem to matter where you are in the world. When we're talking about people who are marginalized, when we're talking about how to move our societies forward, it is a fight between the people who understand what it is like to live as a marginalized person and those folks who are just trying to kind of impose market-based, you know, fixes from the top. And and so the interesting thing about these midterms is we don't have any candidates who understand what life is like for half of America. We right. know that if we elect somebody, they're going to go to Congress, they're going to spend four hours a day dialing for dollars, and they're only going to work 150 days out of the year, and then they're going to complain that they're poor. Why would I go vote for that guy? Right, because they only make, what is it now, $147,000 a year, and uh, plus whatever. A 174, extra. I think, isn't it? Oh, is it 174? Yeah, it's probably going up. And plus the greatest benefits ever and a retirement plan. And a, and then they come out and say Social Security is too expensive and we got to cut it. You know, I mean, it, it, no wonder people don't turn out to vote. And no wonder it's it's the challenge of the day to, to get political types to understand that it's a rational decision not to turn out to vote when the system works like that. I, and I'm delighted that I'm looking forward to the piece about uh, about uh, food banks and, and, and the UK, because I've talked a lot about it, the UK. I've been over there too. And uh, hopefully you'll come back it's and the talk. the same problems that, that we're facing here. It is a question of Western culture and society and what we value. And do we value the dollars more than we value the citizenry?